that it does not give the government the right to have a litmus test or, or have a background check or, uh, or, or require you to do anything to earn your right. It's not a driver's license, it's a constitutional right. Guns and school safety still a hot topic tonight. Walmart now added to the growing list of retailers changing policies on selling guns. But first three bills aimed at easing restrictions on who can carry guns and where pass out of committee and are now headed to the full Oklahoma House. Fox 25's Caroline Vandergriff is live at the state capitol with a breakdown of these proposals. Caroline. That's right. The debate that swept our nation played out in a committee room today. These bills would get rid of handgun licensing and training requirements and also make it easier for schools to arm personnel. The focus is on that law abiding citizen. And that's not what we're concerned about here. We're concerned about the gangbangers. We're concerned about the criminals, the felons. State Representative the Jeff Cootie making his that. case for House Bill 2951. The proposal would allow anyone who can legally buy a firearm to carry it anywhere it's not already prohibited without getting a license or going through any kind of training. Does that not in any way concern you that there's absolutely no training and yet these people are uh, law-abiding citizens that mean well? can still use that gun improperly. Despite some pushback, the House Public Safety Committee voted to move the bill forward. I'm disgusted. I'm uh, disappointed in our elected officials. I'm concerned. Those pushing for gun reform packed the hearing in the overflow room Situation next to those I advocating had, for permitless carry and less restrictions to arm okay. teachers in the classroom. It's been a hot topic in the wake of the deadly school shooting in Florida. No time is inappropriate really for this kind of thing because we're talking about the safety of our school kids. That's what this is all directed toward. This is not advancing an agenda. This is not doing anything for the NRA. This is doing what's right and what's best for our school kids. House Bill 3192 lets local school districts lower the training requirement for armed school personnel. Democrats questioned if that's the best way to stop the threat of a school shooting. Why don't we invest in mental health? I mean, we've cut it down to the bone. Ultimately, the committee passed the bill. A victory in the first fight of what could be a long legislative battle. These bills are now eligible to be heard on the House floor. Representative Cootie thinks that the House will pass these measures, but he expects it to be a fight in the Senate. Now, of course, both critics and supporters will be lobbying their lawmakers ahead of the vote. Mike and Wendy. Caroline, thank you. The other gun measure the committee passed, the House Bill 2918, removes a prohibition on concealed guns on private property. That means people could carry a firearm not just on their own property without a permit, but also on other private property.